Benedict XVI has not hid his concern about the plight in Libya. He called on political leaders on both sides to ensure the safety of the Libyan people and access to humanitarian aid. Prego per coloro che sono coinvolti nella drammatica situazione di quel paese e rivolgo un pressante appello a quanti hanno responsabilità politiche e militari perché abbiano cuore anzitutto l'incolumità e la sicurezza dei cittadini e garantiscano l'accesso ai soccorsi umanitari. The Pope said that he is closely following the situation in Libya and that he prayed for peace in that country during his week of retreat. Alla popolazione desidero assicurare la mia commossa vicinanza mentre chiede a Dio che un orizzonte di pace e di concordia sorga al più presto sulla Libia e sull'intera regione nordafricana. According to figures from the Aid to the Church in Need, Christians in Libya represent only 2.7 percent of the population. The main religion is Sunni Islam. The Pope also reflected on the Transfiguration of Jesus, which is the Gospel read during the Mass for the second Sunday of Lent. The Pope explained that the Transfiguration does not change who Jesus is, but reveals that he is God, that he is pure light. Strengthened by our faith in Jesus, through God and through man, May we be inspired, not scandalized, by the cross given to our Savior and to our fellow Christians who suffer with him throughout the world. The Pope invited Catholics to do some act of voluntary penance during Lent, in addition to that which comes during the course of everyday life.